What about this bait and switch? Does this, does this hold any water at all? Well, there's no evidence that that would have happened. And the fact is there's been a real legal odyssey following Anna Nicole Smith through her whole life and now continues after her death. But the question is, what evidence is there that that would occur? I know Deborah Oprey. I, I, she's a friend of mine. She's a great lawyer. But she has to make these kinds of arguments to try and get the DNA. She has a client that stands to gain substantial potential money, in this case now, upon Anna Nicole Smith's death. And, of course, the child that he says that he loves and wants to raise and wanted to help raise with Anna Nicole Smith. So, and we get not a lot of time here, but we want to get it all in. You spent a lot of time with Larry Burke, Burke his attorney. You said you and Deborah Oprey are friends. What did she mm -hmm. say about their relationship, did, um, about Mr. Burke? Did he love Anna Nicole? Did it seem like they were in love and they had a solid relationship? I'm not going to, in terms of what, she does not talk about, you know, the specifics of what her client has told her that's privileged. The fact is, she's a good lawyer, she represented the Jacksons in the Michael Jackson case, and she's somebody that has a lot of passion about her cases. Okay, now if what if the DNA... She had it before Anna, Nicole Smith died, and she has it now. What if the DNA does prove that Larry Burkhead is a father? Does he automatically get legal custody, or does, uh, well, does the DNA by someone else supersede all of this? The fact is, at this point, that the birth certificate has Howard K. Stern's name. He may have rights right now. The DNA will prove who the father is and who has the right to the child, and the custody will go with the father. But this case has been in courts for 12 years on other issues. This could go on for years on the paternity issues, and this poor little soon-to-be potentially rich girl is caught in the middle, and that's a real tragedy, too. Okay, so the baby's in custody of the Bahamian Authority uh, right. there. Okay, so who gets custody now? It would be most, well, it's an open question. Howard K. Stern being on the birth certificate, having had the commitment ceremony, and I would bet you is noted in the will as one that would be designated to take care of the child upon the potential of Anna Nicole Smith's death. Right. So he's the most likely, but there's a mother, there's siblings of Anna Nicole Smith, etc., and it could be a real fight. It appears with all of uh, the endorsements that she had, that she does have some money. She's probably leaving to this child, but then there's also the Howard Marshall lawsuit. Right. What happens now? Who's suing on behalf of whom and who ends up getting the money if it does uh, if someone does side in favor of Anna Nicole Smith, even if, I mean, does the case even have a, uh, a chance now? Will it go on without Anna Nicole? The lawyers on both sides say so, and the estate has the right to the case. And the fact is, all the principals in that case are dead. But the case will live on, and the ultimate beneficiary will likely be Anna Nicole Smith's child. Okay. Uh, she and Howard K. Stern were supposedly married in the Bahamas. Is that legally recognized here in the U.S.? Well, they call it a commitment ceremony. Okay. That's short of marriage. Either you're married or you're not. It's almost you're pregnant or you're not. And they're not married. So that commitment, they, they did publicly and had the pictures out there. Um, there's been kind of a you know, tabloid train wreck aspect to this case. That was done right after her son uh, had passed. Yeah. And you, Ann Bremner, thank you. There's a lot of questions coming, and I hope we uh, cleared it up with some of our viewers. And even for me, Absolutely. even folks who've been covering this are still a little bit confused about a lot of these issues. So thank you for that. We're going to be reading some My of your pleasure. emails. Thank you. We're going to be reading some